we're here at DocCon 2017 in Austin, Texas, and we stopped by the Veritas booth. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're showing here at DockerCon? Sure. Yeah, so uh, this is our inaugural um, exhibit at DockerCon. We're excited. I've been at three other DockerCon events myself. Um, so we have a hyperscale for container storage product. And what's unique about our product is we actually have an architecture that has a compute plane and a data plane. And the idea is to provide quality of service, um, high performance at the compute layer, and then provide all the storage services down at the data layer that don't impact the, the containers running um, in the compute nodes. So again, we're going to show a demo, I think, here um, shortly. But uh, again, this is our inaugural event at DockerCon. And again, just very glad to be here. And how's the uh, traffic been at the booth? Traffic's been great. Um, in fact, I've had some really good discussions with folks that are looking for storage solutions. I think storage for containers still continues to be one of the kind of pain points um, for customers looking to get their applications in production. So, had a lot of good traffic. And again, this just being the second day, we're looking forward to a lot more um, in the next couple days. Great. So, can we uh, get a, a demo of the product? Yeah, that'd be great. We'd love to show you. So what are you going to show us? Uh, we want to show how Hyperscale kind of seamlessly fits into your Docker ecosystem. Uh, so the DevOps guys no need to kind of change their way they work with. You can continue to create service from UCP and uh, you can manage your storage. And Veritas Hyperscale kind of provides you the required service level guarantees and things like that. So over here we are also showing us uh, creating a Docker volume uh, using the Veritas driver. And what do you specify is the size and the policy. Now the policy translates into various service level guarantees, uh, more in terms of performance, resiliency, as well as the protection, wherein we can kind of create continuous snapshots at periodic intervals to kind of provide you the resiliency in case of any disaster. So once you have the volume created, uh, you could go ahead and create a launch a service. Uh, over here, we're kind of showing you uh, a MySQL service. Let me quickly, uh, so just quickly skip a little more. So in the service specification, one interesting thing is you're going to specify the volume that you need to use. And over here, we already have an existing Veritas volume that was created. Uh, so we kind of quickly select to that SQL wall. And UCP immediately identifies that it's a Veritas uh, volume that is there, and it has a policy gold, which give you a gold class of service. And once that is done, you could launch, uh, you could quickly launch the MySQL service. And let me just skip a little of these steps launching so the service is successfully deployed now as once the service is deployed uh, you can have your application running and the devops guys don't see anything that's happening behind the scenes the uh, infrastructure admin can go into the hyperscale management interface and look at how the storage process performance is happening uh, is being provided uh, so here this gives you a way in which so what a volume that was created uh, from ucp is now visible in the ui the gold policy the size everything is here and one interesting thing I want to just pause a little here is so we have this software defined uh, solution. Now you want the performance, uh, the policy goal translated into multiple characteristics. One is the performance, number, number of IOPS, latency that you provide, the resiliency factor, as well as the protection policy. So Hyperscale provides you protection by taking continuous periodic snapshots at regular intervals so that you can recover back. Now let's quickly go and uh, Launch once the service is launched, let's have some IO load instantiate run on it. So it's a MySQL slab IO load that we run it. Uh, let me quickly go it here. We just run the MySQL slab uh, workload to initiate some IO activity. As soon as the workload is there, uh, the infrastructure admin actually can see the performance uh, that's being provided by this infrastructure. So as you can see, you'd have the continuous monitoring of IOPS, latency, and uh, as well as the throughput. And this kind of segregates into reads, writes, and totals. So in a nutshell, what you see here is a software-defined solution uh, that's catered to uh, the application developers. The infrastructure admin defines the policy, sets things, sets the infrastructure up, and the DevOps guys can just go and use the infrastructure without worrying about any guarantees, any policy, anything. Everything is taken care by the infrastructure guy. And he, infrastructure guy yet retains the control wherein he could uh, make sure that the resources are properly being used. Yeah, thank you.